Ruby and today I'm going to be vlogging. I've got a day on campus in the morning and then I'm going out for brunch and I'm going to do some studying in a cafe so I thought I would vlog. Today's video is also very kindly sponsored by NordVPN. Changing your VPN address is basically a way of protecting your privacy when you're working on public wi-fi. I left the house at around 7.45 my 8.30 seminar, prepped an envelope for a letter I wanted to send later and also packed a snack for campus and I walked campus because it was just such a beautiful day today. The sky was so blue and it was actually really mild. I probably didn't even need my coat. It was a little while past sunrise, but the sun was still very low in the sky and looked beautiful. And as I say, I had an 8.30 seminar. It's just an hour long. And in these seminars, we just discussed different tropes of writing for children. So today we're talking about world building and we're looking at Chris Riddell as an example for that. Uh, so with his offline books, for example. And then after that, I had a workshop for my dissertation. I don't know where this building is. <laughs> <laughs> Not like... Are you filming? Maybe. <laughs> We've got a dissertation workshop now in the Harrison building, which Blakeney has not been to. Well, this part of it, you haven't been really. It's a mystery, it's huge. It's like really big. Thing. It's like an actual jungle. It's also very 1970s, like very, very. It's like a whole new world. <laughs> And then I walked into town, so I finished listening to Grit by Amanda Duckworth on Audible on the way, and I went to Boston Tea Party, which is one of my favourite cafes. I absolutely love this cafe, honestly. It's got such a great atmosphere, and everyone's so lovely in there, and also they have a very good menu. So usually I get tea, but today I was really in the mood for a mango lassi, which is one of their smoothies. It's made with mango and avocado and coconut and it's honestly delicious. I'm just going to quickly change my so that I can get I used NordVPN to change my VPN address. Uh, changing your VPN address is a good idea if you work on public Wi-Fi, for example, in cafes or libraries, and it just helps to keep your data more secure. And NordVPN is the fastest VPN server out there and so, so easy to use. You have this map and then you just click on the pin to change your location. So I just changed from the UK to Canada here. It really is just a few clicks and now as you can see the server is protected. You can also use NordVPN for streaming television shows from different countries and you can access over 5,200 servers in 59 different countries. If you want to start using NordVPN there will be a link in the description box and if you use that link you can actually get one free month with the two year plan plus a huge discount. Anyway, uh, I was working on some work for my writing for children literature module here. After that, I had this form I needed to fill out just about some work I did in some archives recently. And then here I was writing a letter to my cousin who had recently sent me a letter. And then I packed up all of my things and headed out. meet Sasha and Blakeney for brunch at number one Polso which is like 20 minutes outside of central Exeter city and they had such good vegan pancakes I got the Greek ones which were delicious I would highly recommend I 
I'm going to try the Honey Bee Beautiful Tea, which is one of the Pancake Day ones from Bird and Blend. I'm not sure about the smell. It smells a bit like banana. Welcome back to Tea Time with Ruby. I've got the Honey Bee Beautiful Tea here and I'm very excited to try it. It smells better now that it smells in the packet. I mean, I love the smell of banana, but I just wasn't expecting it. It does taste a bit like banana, which is so absurd. This is made with honey bush and it tastes like honey. It does taste like honey. It, it tastes like somebody's stirred through like a whole teaspoon of honey. Really comforting. It's quite unique though. I mean, it's, it's a really boss base and I would say it doesn't taste like tea. I mean, a lot of the teas by Bird and Blend, to be honest, do not taste like tea because they're so different. I can't work out how I feel about that. It does taste like honey, but I was never the biggest fan of honey. And so it tastes like honey and banana together. Let's try it with a bit of milk, actually. I just, it's just very different. It's just not what I was expecting. So I don't know if I am a big fan of this one. It's a lot better with milk. Again though, it really tastes like banana and I can't figure out why because there's nothing in those ingredients to make it taste like banana. But anyway, um, got my tea and I'm going to do a bit of work for my module. Um, I'm doing a creative writing module this time, which is honestly a lot of fun and it does not feel very academic at all. And the workload is also not huge, but we've got to, we're writing picture books and got to format our picture books um, the end of this week. And so I'm gonna do that now. It's for a formative submission. And I got started on it whilst I was in the coffee shop, but I do still have quite a bit of work to do on it. So. I've just got this Matilda folder as well where I keep all of the spare handouts and things because I've actually like, I never used to have handouts like last term or last year um, or even first year, but this term I am getting handouts for my creative writing module and my dissertation workshops. And so it makes sense to keep one of these folders in my bag. This is the sheet. It's just like 32 pages from a picture book basically and we've got to fill out um, what text we'll have on the page and then the illustrations that we'd have and we do actually have to illustrate them. We don't have to illustrate them but we've been advised to illustrate them and so we're gonna have to see how this goes because I'm not very artistic and um, I'm gonna have to get creative um, and hope for the best that some kind of artistic ability is able to shine through because I really don't have any. Then here in this clip, I am just working on that picture book. Also, update, the more I drink this, the more I dislike it. I think this is one of my least favorite teas I've ever tried. It's just very like sickly. But then again, I don't really like the taste of honey, so maybe that's why, but not really that happy with this tea. And I do have a lot to get through. I'll probably still drink it, to be honest, but it's not my favorite. Here again, working on that picture book. It is a very unique task, very singular task. Basically for this module, we have to submit a portfolio, which includes a picture book and a 4,500 word extract from a middle grade or YA book. It's a really cool premise and very unlike any module I've ever done before. I also made this template for taking my notes for this module. I'm now just gonna quickly pop to the food shop because I want to get some frozen blueberries and milk because we're out of both of those and I'll just quickly check in case there's anything else I need to pick up. up some 
carrots, the little less than perfect ones, some green grapes, bananas, tangerines, lemon, frozen blueberries, which is the thing I went in for. Also two cartons of coconut milk. This is the milk, like the only milk that I use. I love it so much. Uh, I got a sweet potato for dinner and also a can of chickpeas. I'm gonna put some dinner on now. I'm now gonna do a Cairo Pro dance workout. I'm just gonna do it downstairs actually. My food is just cooking. I'm making like a Frika sweet potato bowl thing. Some chickpeas which I'm crisping up with some oil and some sweet potatoes. I've also managed to eat like a quarter of the pack of grapes already. They are so, so good. Like honestly, some of the best grapes I've had in ages. I'm gonna do I did that workout, please excuse how hilarious these clips are, and then I had dinner, which was delicious. I cooked the greens with red cabbage so that it would turn pink. Okay, it's seven o'clock. I'm going to work on my dissertation for half an hour, and then I'll have a shower and start getting ready for bed. It's now 8.05 and I am so happy with the progress I've made. I've just written plans for all three chapters of my dissertation. I've written like a mini thesis for each of them. The text I'm gonna look at for that chapter, the secondary comparative material I'm going to look at, the main critics I'm going to consider, and then like a list of things that I want to include within that chapter. And then for one of them, I've also included an essay plan and the research questions. I did all of that in an hour and I'm so, so, so happy, um, more than I was expecting to do. I've been editing for the last few hours and I'm just gonna sign off the video here. Say thank you so much for watching. Thank you again to NordVPN for sponsoring today's video as well and I hope that you have a productive week. It's a little later than I was hoping. Just a quick reminder that I have a stationery shop where I sell stationery I've designed to help with productivity. The yearly planner is still available as well as this versatile notebook and a range of to-do list pads which will be linked down below.